So a few years ago, I tried to get into Gaza myself. I tried several times. As an Israeli, I can't go through Israel because Israeli law prohibits that. So I tried to go through Egypt. But, of course, Egyptian policy towards Gaza is the same as Israeli. I mean, they're complicit. They're collaborators. And so I couldn't go in through Egypt as well because the border is closed. And then at one point, somebody wrote me a message, a friend wrote me a message and asked me if I would consider coming into Gaza through the subway. <laughs> and I thought, yes, of course, why not? How could I possibly refuse? Now, to drive from Jerusalem to Gaza is about an hour and 15 minutes. I had to drive from Jerusalem to Tel Aviv, fly from Tel Aviv to the very south to Eilat, cross the border into Egypt, into Sinai. That's where I met my friends. And then drive all across Sinai to Rafah, which is where the tunnels used to be. We were sitting in Rafah. It was already late at night, waiting for the permission to access, to go through the tunnel where I noticed it, was, it had been 14 hours by then since I left my house in Jerusalem. 14 hours, and I wasn't even in Gaza, and really all I was going to go is, you know, that, that distance. Finally, the OK came in, and these are, this is the tunnel that I went through. The one picture on this side is the entryway, and then the other picture is the tunnel itself. And this is what they call the five-star tunnel, where you can actually walk, there's light, and so forth. And at the end of that, I was again, once again, in Palestine, in Gaza. That is the absurdity. That you have about two million people whose only lifeline were tunnels, and these tunnels weren't leading to Amsterdam, they were leading to Rafah on the Egyptian border, which is a dump. It's a refugee camp in itself. And that was the best they can do. Of course, now these tunnels have been destroyed by Sisi and his, and his minions and his forces. But imagine this reality where nearly two million people in order to access food and water and medicine and anything else we need, had to go through tunnels. And the border is only maybe seven kilometers wide, and there were hundreds of tunnels there. That is a reality which is absolutely unacceptable, inexcusable, and unjustifiable. 